How's it growing, everybody? It's your boy Cartier Crops, and Happy New Year! 2022 is gonna be the shit. Uh, that's the same thing we said about 2020, and I think we got it all wrong. But it's okay because it's a new day, it's a new time. Now, something I want to talk about: there was a discussion in our group about flushing, and so many people they are confused about flushing. Now, I know they read an article in the High Times magazine, and it talks about how flushing didn't make a difference, and the people that smoke the herb that was not flushed was really good, and people chose that over everything yes if that's organic if you're an organic grower there's no need to flush because you're not using any type of nutrient think about it the nutrients inside of the soil are doing its own thing mother nature is handling her business but when you are growing in cocoa choir or hydroponics the game has changed because you're using synthetic synthetic is stuff like canna a b salts jacks all these nutrients that are salt based what happens when you water with salt based nutrients there's a buildup whenever your soil starts to dry so especially if your soil starts to dry it may be no bueno so the thing is when you are using synthetic nutrients and you come to the end of your cycle you want to flush the salts out don't listen to what anybody else tells you again if you're in soil then it's okay you can you could finish your crop like that but me personally and years of experience after many many trials of testing this shit out believe me when you're a synthetic grower you need to get all that stuff out of your plant out of your media there was even a comment of someone that said that the plant does doesn't uptake anything when it comes to are you crazy the plant is always uptaking anything you give it anything you provide it it's the same way we rock if you give your body any type of other supplements or anything other than what's naturally supposed to occur to you then you become sick or things happen now you can flush those things out of your body and get your body right back on track so whatever you feed your plants that is what's being uptake by your plants. Now, yes, we could talk about lockout and all types of other things, but the truth is, if you are a synthetic grower, you need to flush that shit. And if you are an organic grower, you don't have to flush that shit. So you decide what you eat doesn't make me shit. I'm Cartier Crops with a quick update. Be good to yourself and be good to everybody else. Peace.